just want to show you uh, my battery uh, or my GoPro uh, the thing um, memory card um, was full or something I don't know SD card was full but um, that's what I got here big checker plate at the end and then all this other stuff here it's full so I'm gonna take the big whale I mean, this is, everything I got is just full stuffed it in there pretty good got some junk in the front seat but I'm gonna take some tools with me this was wrapped up like it's probably in good shape so I'm gonna put that somewhere in here I'm gonna bring my my actual um copper my copper wire so I want the insulation to dry a bit because I don't want water going through this thing here this could rust my blades and stuff so I'm just gonna move a couple things over I'm gonna put the wire right here so we're gonna go out uh, looking for more spring cleanup but a whole new area starts anytime now till pick up Wednesday and Thursday so hopefully something good comes up over here or something but so far did really good yesterday very very happy it was really good Had a good good pickup just a good variety of stuff and some better metals which makes it nice you get copper and stuff like that I need some gloves the gloves are all wet that's the advantage when you go when it rains people stay home especially on a Saturday night they're watching TV I'm sitting there getting all the cool stuff these are Home Depot dollar each take a couple of those All the tools in here. Look at more junk in here still. Ugh. Never ending. So this was looks like it's brand new. I took it, it's in nice shape. I'll give it to my brother or something. He was looking for one before. But uh sometimes the gear breaks inside and then it looks like it's good but it's really junk. Put it up here for now. But it's all aluminum body, so there's value no matter what, copper and aluminum. <clears throat> that was kind of kind of cute actually, it's not, not chipped up or nothing. What's missing one handle? Hmm. It's always a catch, right? Catch. These are CB antennas that I wanted to keep for now. I need that I need that container so I could store my stuff. Right now everything's in you know all over the place. Yeah, these are uh, a timer. It's all spring cleanup finds. Oh yeah, all these wiper blades, all brand new. And I need I need it for my trucks. Each of my trucks are all shot. I got these here. I don't know if they're sellable or not, but probably too old I'll leave for now they don't use that style no more that's a problem but for now or I'll just strip them for the transformers yeah I don't think they use this Makita no more like that as far as I know they don't but there's probably some diehards that like it here's an Xbox again Unsellable Xbox, no one wants to pay nothing. They all want it, but they don't want to pay nothing for it, so just goes to the collection. Xbox collection. You got probably about seven or eight of them now or more. Okay, that's it for the video on this here. Let me keep going and then we'll, we'll be on the road. Spring cleanup. Okay, okay, I changed one blade. Perfect. One one was really bad there. The other one was okay. 
So that's awesome. Spring cleanup finds. I need to change on one of my truck, but I'll do it later. So almost ready to go. So my tools ready. Warm the car up right now. I took everything out. Oh yeah, I have a I have a pail with some stuff. Just a variety of tools here because you just never know. variety because uh, I could cut stuff down that's a good thing it's two big special ladders and I have one brand new blade somewhere I don't know where I put it actually at least in my car I'm gonna pick up some radiator seal because uh, the problem is where the clips go it's it's separating a bit. I, I pounded the clips the other day. Not sure if that will help, but I mean, you can go to a shop, right? All they have to do is loosen those clips a little bit, right? Next thing you're out of business. A little bit of pressure buildup, that's it. So you don't know about shady mechanics, right? I'm not sure in the yard these guys are, but it's weird how you go there and all of a sudden now, rad. I had no problem with that car for about 10 years, or uh, about maybe eight years, but. Just never know. Okay. I had it here the other day. I was looking at a brand new blade. Doesn't make sense where I put it. It wouldn't be in the pail because it was something I bought yesterday. It should be in a red van somewhere. And maybe the side door. Maybe. A little red is stuffed pretty good. Good value there. Gotta be super happy with that. Maybe the blade's down here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Right there. You know, I noticed the, the standard Diablos are not as good anymore. They used to be really good. Now they have these 50 times and all this stupid stuff where they want to make you pay money. So I think what they did is they just, uh, the quality of the blade got worse, cheaper. And, then, and if you want good blades, you gotta pay super big money for it, like $15 a blade. And these ones are not that great. But they were really good at one time. A little bit downer on that. Okay. Yeah. Lucky I dumped this box out. Look at the crap that's in it. Oh, that's the, ca the cable here. It's all full of crap. Been sitting in the guy's yard probably for years. I want to cut this stuff up. <sighs> Crazy. That's why it's so heavy. This stuff is super thick. There's two kinds there actually. I don't think it was all that garbage in here. So I would have dumped it somewhere else. But I want to be able to sell this right away. my new gloves I should actually start cutting it now look at that Kappa. Video maybe hosing it off because it's dirt goes in your machine, grinds your blades down real quick. Pretty quick. We'll strip this on 
on video you can see how good it goes every other one i use went good so hopefully this goes good okay let's start cutting that we'll clean the mess up then we're gonna go okay. got my brass here copper you have quite a bit there actually Brass here too. I'm gonna leave here for now. But I want to take my copper back. The copper's rebounding, I guess. It's starting to go back up. Wow, tough stuff. So, a couple pieces in the van from yesterday. Probably $100 there at least. All that brass. So I'll be on top of all this here, so less clutter the better. The price is being good. This is all brass here too. So that's a bonus. Okay, so I think that's it for this one. In that container, I'll put the number two welding cable. I got to about 61 pounds welding cable. It's 65.1 with container, but I think the container's around three or four. So I'll probably process a little bit of this when I dump the cables on Monday. It's more secure, safer in my in my garage, anyways. Copper is copper, right? Okay, that's it. A little bit of brass left there. Like I say, I would say we're gonna weigh the container. 65.1 right now. We'll strip it and wait. See what it is. We'll know the ratio. There's two different types: thick. And thinner, so still good. Okay, aluminum here. We got everything on top of it. Yeah. Obviously, everything's on top of it. More of a headache than anything, but this stuff's hard. It's hard to rip. Let me get my hammer. Hold on for a second. Things here. Uh, there's a little more stuff here today. I was in this here yesterday. Uh, there's a couple things I wanted. Came back for it, so let's see if it's here. right away maybe I get a bucket of cords this is where I got the um copper from yesterday you know, there's more stuff out
Here this here. Buffer. Are you sure it's work? Yes. Okay. Need that charger. Do you want it inside? Oh yeah. Yeah, I'll take it anyways, sure. Yes. I'll take it, no problem. Okay, Thank okay. you. Thank you very much. Yeah. These are little heavy little things. I don't know why GoPro keeps going on. I'm not, I'm not taking, turn off and it's still on. You have more stuff? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm looking for mostly metal and just junk in general. Metal junk? Yeah, metal and scrap metal, anything. Scrap metal, I have a bigger one. Yeah, what is I, this? I have to need a cut in uh, fence for a new house. What's in your wire here? No. Oh, no. No wire, right? No more, no copper, huh? Okay, I'll come back because I can keep going all around the big, area. Uh, big, uh, big fence part in the new house. Yeah. That one I need to have to cut it. Oh, oh I see. Okay. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's where I got the copper last time. Okay, I came back for that steam cleaner, but uh, it's gone. So I'll stick with this here. Take this. I have one like this. Maybe I could take whatever part I need for mine. Make it two to one or something, right? Holy shit. That stuff you want is heavy, that's like 80 pounds. That's what you want. Okay. Take some kind of shower thing over. It's all, it's all metal, all metal, I'll take it, it's all full of brass. That's worthy of taking. See, he had no scrap metal, what am I going alongside? But they have scrap metal, but they don't understand what, what scrap metal is good or bad, right? metal here. It's like stainless I would think. Stainless and brass. Good combination. Hello. How you doing? Good, good. I'll take a little bit of your metal. Oh, yeah. Take the metal for sure. Yeah I take this one too? Yeah I take that one too. You gonna come back again? You got more metal? I come back another day. I'm coming the next two, three days, okay? Yeah, yeah. Sure. What time to pick up? Wednesday or Thursday? I think Wednesday, 26th. Okay, thank you. Okay. Take care. Uh, see, I got a truck that went to the table that I was looking for. Might have got that table. Looks like he's got some uh, tools in there. Rusty tools. That, that's the one that was sitting on the lawn. I'm sure the guy got it. I've been looking for some of those things. They were heavier things. I thought I could put them in right away. But I couldn't find them, but there might have been the table there. Table saw. Okay. Lots of chairs. Ceiling fan. Chairs all add up. Got a little weight. Heater there. I'll worry about if I get a big something big, I'll sort it out. I'll be waiting and never see it, right? It's a problem. It's actually pretty light, this thing. Usually heavier.
eliminate this here. Like I'm looking at really slow down. New city guy too. We don't know. Who knows? We're doing the city a favor anyways, picking this crap up. Yeah, scrapper is eyeballing me up. Look, scrapper, see that? We didn't expect it. Like when I saw his gloves on, we drove by, I knew. I was gonna tell you, I make a comment, but proof is in the pudding right now. Okay, let's keep moving. Very spotty, if you drive a truck here, lose money. Not a lot of stuff, but uh, that's why I'm trying to pick up the, you know, whatever, a little bit heavier stuff, but anyways, we'll see how it goes. Not a lot out there, but I think I'll take this rail here. It looks probably pretty heavy. It's iron, but not super heavy, but it's okay. It's not a lot out there, so I'll try to get some weight. It might be a bust this year. It's not like last year, that's for sure. Or, yeah, I think last year or whatever, but... Still HMS, I'll cut it up one time or something. Because I don't like that. A lot of space. The dead space there. I see more cars, quite a few cars out there. Little trailers and little trucks and so on. It's a little pot here. Bones. I like the dead end cul de sacs. You find good stuff. People don't want to take trailers there. It's too hard to dri drive a trailer, if you know what I mean. Well, these are not so bad here, but some are bad. Kind of metal. Oh, yeah, not bad weight. Not bad weight. I'll probably cut the handles of the shuttle shovels and then I'm gonna go somewhere else. Start putting junk behind. It's all dead space. Okay. Very spotty, I'll tell you. Not a lot out there. But there's competition. I ran into a, a lady that was driving a car and she's looking for small furniture. So, and there was uh, another guy, a couple guys with trailers floating around, small trailers. So I'm the stainless steel part off already. You see that? They look with small trailers, there's nothing in them. Like, like one foot sides, like just too useless, really, to be honest. Maybe they're looking for appliances, who knows, but it's definitely, well, it's like I say, pickups on Wednesday, Thursday, and it's only Sunday, so. But Wednesday, Thursday, they pick up, then we start picking up both sides Wednesday. But the way it's gonna go, they'll, they'll clean this up like nothing in no time. Before it used to be like tons of trash here, and you could, when, on a garbage day, you could still compete with them. Now it's gonna probably be, they're, they're quick. You know, hire a new company trying to sh approve a name so the, they were slow at the starts but seemed to have picked up pretty quick you know it takes you root, learn the roots right it's starting to get quicker now so I can kind of take even crappy metal right now I think I'm trying to I've been avoiding it right but 
the way things are, I have no choice. This is this is some weight. Okay, we can't move on. I think like this is not that great, but hey, a little bit of HMS. And then a piece of uh, tin. Tin tread. It's a little cast on here. It's heavy metal or something. Like that. Almost metal. Like aluminum here, it's okay. Both of these are aluminum. I thought that was the kind of metal, but when you look at it from a distance. A little bit of aluminum. Glass is no big deal, I can throw it in the garbage. I have room here. I'll sit behind here. Get that lamp too. Bigger appliances this year in this area. Usually, you don't see that many big ones. And about the dolly, nothing that I want. Before, no dolly. I see stuff, but no room. This one here, I'll, I'll sell it like this is small, got a little mortar on it. A little better, better money for the scrap period, but the big vacuums really got nothing in them. Tiny mortar. So what caught my eye was these bed rails. Which, you know that creates a little bit of weight. I'll grab it if not. Nope. Not gonna bother. Too much fooling around with nothing there. A lot of competition and not a lot of scrap, so we'll see how it goes. But I, I go all day and night, doesn't matter. Rains, could it even snow? I'll go. But these guys, rains gets dark. Good part about North or Delta area, uh, close to Surrey side border. No one cares. People stay up late night. You can make noise. But when you go in the ladder to Austin, they come out, look at you, they scream. That's why I didn't do do much really late. I did a bit, but not with a big truck. That's for sure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit of a trash pocket here. A vacuum, a couple chairs, nice cord. Oh, we got a stereo too. Not too bad actually. Hot pockets. Those chairs actually got weight.
Well, whatever we get, we get, right? If that's what it is, that's what it is. That's how the market is, right? We're in recession, right? And people don't have the money to throw, buy new and throw everything away. When the market's good, everybody's throwing everything away. You know what I mean? Get rid of this garbage. It's a pain. This thing. Oh, she broke. This. Those speakers bows actually. You better have been in the rain. Might have been a good system or something. Good thing about the little kids' bikes for the size, they're actually pretty pretty heavy for size. You can always get a good load of those bikes, if you know what I mean. Look at those speakers and then we'll move on. These speakers here. They don't really weigh nothing, that's a problem, even though they're bows is Denon or Yamaha. Get the cord off right away. I'm gonna leave the speakers. These are not heavy. They're just uh, air. I'll tidy up this mess here. So, look you load loose in the window, don't stare at me. A little chair here. I'm gonna leave this. I'll grab the base. Okay. Super greasy. Kind of stuff you want to sell the way it is. I just put it out now. This guy. Something walking here. The chair is no good. Okay. There's anything good, but it's aluminum here, I think. These could be aluminum, actually. Hmm. Must be aluminum. This thing's garage right now, so. No, aluminum. I think it's aluminum. I'll double check and then if not, I'll turf it back. Just don't know the stuff. They do make fiberglass stuff like this, but see. Fiberglass. It's all fiberglass. That's exactly what it is. See? Can't tell. It's garbage. Okay, check the Stuck with this garbage. Couple pieces here. Tonka there. You have any scrap metal coming out? Nothing? Okay, thank you. Okay, Chuck did it be taking plastic and trying to dump it, cutting a million pieces. Well, that's okay. I was suspect, but I saw a little bit of shiny gray. I thought, you know, maybe I knew it. I had my feeling. Take out the clubs that are good. Probably fix 
exit there better. Look how tight they make these idiots on the park. How's it help to drive by there and then they get damaged in a car and they complain. It's aluminum here. All this, these chair things, aluminum. I'm gonna cut them up a bit. I don't take the whole car up. Enough to ruin your load. Look at that. New aluminum. Aluminum. What's that? I'm here. Well, that's that's super light. Unbelievable. How light that is. That's a difference when you're paying, you know, like uh thousand dollars for a table versus like 300 it's like it doesn't weigh nothing it doesn't weigh nothing at all cut, my, cut here and cut some butter Okay, I'm gonna cut the rest of this up here. I found uh, one of these things here. Garage door openers, I'm gonna cut it. There's no value. I'm gonna pull cut it with the other thing. I'm gonna cut the rest. Chain. done. The cutter doesn't want to cut this at all.
skirt. Yeah, just just nothing up there. It might be a little early, maybe I don't know. Maybe they say the day before in Syria, I don't know, or Delta. Usually there's stuff, but especially the weekend, right? People the weekend, you know, they want to get off work and then do their thing, and then you think they would throw the stuff out on the weekend, right? I don't see nothing. Stupid, bring those things in my way now. How you doing? Take it, but no choice. Plastic. So plastic. I said if that was metal, I might grab it. It's getting desperate here for metal. more stuff to north anyways south is really nothing the south is pick up on uh, Wednesday you think they'd have stuff out there I don't see much so people probably get to uh, give up pretty quick but maybe this evening time everybody's uh, celebrated Vesaki they're probably hung over and maybe later this day evening They'll throw stuff out, hopefully. Some metal there. Saw something there. Double check what it is. These big, busy roads suck, but you know, not much out there. No choice. Yeah, I saw that metal there. This stuff's uh, for fencing, it's very heavy duty. That's HMS for sure. Maybe I'll even cut that pole off, maybe. Do the garbage guys a favor. Oh! Fast, see? Fast. We're fast in this business. Garbage cat will take it. I think I myself probably about 20, 20 pounds. Okay. So I don't really want to cut any steel tables because every time I cut something the blade gets dollar if you know what I mean we'll probably leave this at this table Barbecue. 
Wir dort sagt mir. I think I'm gonna go dump the uh, dump this load, head towards back, dump this load, because otherwise um, I'm gonna have a hell of a time getting everything out. So it takes too long. This way I'm on top on top of it right now to pull it all out. This is actually pretty nice. One of the legs broken, but. heavy see so how do you get it in there see how don't bother getting the stuff like this I'm gonna dump the load I guess Work my way kind of back. Not your typical load, but what do you do? Okay. I'm not sure what chemicals in it. It's an old one. Yeah, I'm not sure. Some of them have uh, bad chemicals. I'm not sure about that one. It's heavy, it's like 30 pounds, but it has actual. Uh, you can take the top off and refill it, I guess. Some have touch of chloride. I'm not sure. I don't think that one has it, but I'm not sure. So it's gonna stick around for a while. Another few more days, anyways. Yeah, it's starting to rain again, like every day. I have to cut uh, that thing thing apart a bit because it's in my way. Cut the legs off its uh, arms or whatever it was. That's a problem, weight bench. Uh, there's a few spots in this area here, a couple things here and there. I can take that wheel off. Give me just a little more room. Even just the front wheel. Be a difference. Well, it's actually got a... Back one's got also the same kind of release. Oh, it's so rusty. Not too bad. I've had worse. Just uh, well, too much material, but 
I'll pass. I got a few more blocks to do in different areas, so you never know. If I start unscrewing stuff, sometimes the people get funny here. It's a better, nice area here, I think. Got the Fraser River there. These are probably all 1.52 million dollar homes, probably. You can see they don't put a lot of garbage out. Look at it. Bunch of weird metal here, actually. Some kind of weird thing, vice or something. Hello, how you doing? Good. You got more metal coming or anything? No, that's about it for metal. Okay, thank you very much. Hmm, look at that, it's another vice. These are all interesting tools actually. I'll actually put them in the front. Interesting goes to the front. This other one here is interesting too. Some sort of uh Hmm. I'm sure, but it's old tools. Probably from the 40s, 50s, this point. I got a scooter I stopped earlier. There was something else. Get this bar and a bunch of other stuff. Oops, actually, not too bad. People cleaning the garage right now. This could come in handy. Trying to get out of, uh, you know, if you're stuck somewhere. There's a propane thing here. Hmm. Great stuff, Pro. This is wash my van, my truck. Okay. We got some action here. Awesome. Almost got a good load already. A few more streets and you know we're gonna head home. Unload it in this way. Got a pot there and some aluminum here. It's okay, I'll take it. Put a couple pounds here at least here. Old sheet. Well, yeah, old sheet. Cast candles, but that's okay. Say a couple pounds for sure. All together probably three, three and a half pounds. It's a steamer or something. It's an old one. A crab. It shows a crab on the outside. It's probably for crabs, I think. It's small. One one or two crabs at the most. If not, or if you cut them up, maybe. Okay. Can't feel things. Uh, more stuff in this area that wasn't here last time. Some guys grabbing stuff over there. Grabbed a nice electric or a gas hedger or something. It looks pretty good. We got a pretty good load anyways. Uh, I'm seeing a water tank over there, up in here. A few things around. Get a straight out oats. I think it's the guy who came to my garage sale who wants weed eaters and all that stuff. Readers and all kinds of crap. It's got lawnmower gardening stuff. Yeah, it's a guy they buy lawnmowers, but they don't pay nothing. They want to give you twenty dollars for lawnmower. Well, he left the other lawnmower there. He didn't take it. Good, not too bad. Not a hundred percent, but you know. Not bad. So that's the yard here. There's nothing in three different piles here. I'll film it after. I'm gonna charge your batteries. Batteries died on me. Okay.